For years, Saguenay Mayor Jean Tremblay has started every city council meeting the same way. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. With a Catholic prayer. Eight years ago, a resident filed a human rights complaint saying the prayer infringed on his own freedom of religion. The case made it all the way to the Supreme Court. There are a lot of people who believe in God, and I hope those people uh, will have the, the privilege to pray. Today, the mayor lost. In a unanimous decision, the nine justices ruled the prayer breached the state's duty of neutrality. The court confirms that the state and people acting on behalf of the state can't impose a religion. They can't promote a religion. In Quebec, proponents for state secularism said it's a win, a sign public institutions aren't a place to hold any religious activities. We are very happy. That's all I can say now. Across the country, other towns wondered how the ruling would apply to them. Even the Speaker of the House of Commons reads a daily prayer, but it's done off camera. I think it's a political time bomb for any politician to jump in and, and to promote this. Secular activist so Chris London wrote a letter to councillors in St. John, New Brunswick, demanding they stop their usual prayer, but some don't plan to. Oh, I think there's, there's nothing wrong with prayers. Uh, um, uh, that's my belief. I, I believe in it strongly. Over in Ottawa, hockey attire wasn't the only change for councillors today. City Council will not say a prayer this morning. The mayor called off the opening prayer as he reviews the Supreme Court decision. Uh, the alternative, I believe, I think would make some sense is to offer, as we did today, a moment of personal reflection. What the top court did not clarify is whether cities and provincial legislatures can keep their religious symbols or whether a cross on the wall also infringes on freedom of religion. The man at the center of the case, the mayor of Saguenay, hasn't responded yet, but the Supreme Court has told him clearly at the next council meeting he can't pray out loud. Thomas Dagler, CBC News, Montreal.